Guys, we're in Learn SQL. Um, one of my videos, I told you that it was in beta. It looks like it's complete. Um, why you might want to learn SQL? Well, everything web related uses a database, and you have to tie in your code a lot of times with databases. And if you have no experience, this is a great way to just kind of dive into it and learn how to do that. So let's just go ahead and get started. We're in manipulation, manipulation. So um, queries are kind of like where you take, you're like, look, from my data, I want this, and I want to know what it means. So just keep that in mind when we use queries. From contacts. Oh, I need to press run. So this asterisk means selects all. And you can see our query results right here. This is our primary ID. We have a name, person one, and a birth date for each one of these people. So ID, name, birthday, integer, text date. Not too bad. So let's continue on here. So now that you're good understanding, let's create a new table. Tables are kind of what store your data, I suppose. So we're going to say I, the ID is integer. And I believe it's case sensitive, so the name is text. Or the, and the age is integer. So this looks, if I had to go off of it, this is the name of the column followed by the column type. So integer, text, integer. All right, so insert into uh, celebs. All right, so now we want to edit our ID, name, and age. And we're going to say the values are one Justin Bieber, I guess. So many celebrities, and you choose that one 21. So ID is one, the name is Justin Bieber, and the age is 21. So now we're out of that. Now let's see. We want to make sure that it got added. I'm going to say select from celebs. And, oh, we need to run it. And bam, so there's our new table with our new result. All right, so let's add three more celebs to the table. Uh, Let's see if they'll let us do this. So instead of typing it all out, you can also copy and paste it in there. Let's run it. This should have added the three celebs. Now, say we just want to select a row or column. We want, in this case, just the name from our celebs table. Now we run it, we're going to get just the name, which is Justin Bieber, Beyonce Knowles, Jeremy Lin, and Taylor Swift. I don't know who Jeremy Lin is. I think he's a basketball player. Bam. All right, so we want to update our celebs. Now we want to set age equal to 22. And notice there's no semicolon after these where the ID is equal to 1. So we're saying for the first person, uh, we're going to set that. And now we want to select all the columns from our celebs table and run it and now we should have for this Justin Bieber is now 22 see because he's ID 1 let's add a new column to the table in text editor type alter table all right so alter table alter the table celebs add a new column called Twitter underscore handle of the text type. So now it should still be empty, but th we should have four or as many IDs of empty Twitter handles because we haven't added them yet. But the row should be there. So when we run it, see empty Twitter handles. Not too bad. Um, I kind of think of 
SQL as a Excel sheet that you're messing with, except it's a database. So if that helps you, just think of it as a complex Excel sheet. All right, so now we want to update Taylor Swift's Twitter handle. So we want to update celebs, our celebs table. We're getting no semicolon we want to set. Twitter underscore handle equal to and let's let's double check I believe the um, double quotes is fine too at Taylor Swift 13 and then we, we want to do that where ID is equal to four and a better way to do this in my opinion is because you're not going to remember that Taylor Swift's ID is four you, but you might remember that the name is Taylor Swift so it creates a few more problems because you may have to do case sensitive. It may be case sensitive, but uh, for me, that's just one way. You can also go down selecting a uh, row. So let's go ahead and run this. And once we do that, our Twitter handle for tw Taylor Swift is there. And now it, we want to delete from our celebs table where, and again, we can drop this down. So we can do where Twitter underscore handle is null. And so when you run it, uh, so it looks like it worked. Let's move on. So. In this lesson, we learned SQL statements. So that is true. So um, it looks like this is just a review, but we've learned how to create, edit, delete data from SQL. So um, just a reminder, oh, we learned our lesson completed manipulation. So that's pretty quick. We're already 25% of the way through a three hour lesson in about seven minutes. So definitely take a time to look back, maybe make your own chart about how to use SQL. And in the next video, I will see you and we continue on using SQL. Hopefully it goes in a little more in depth. But again, um, great thing, great resource to have. I just had an interview where they asked me about my database knowledge and I wish I had just taken this course because that's very limited for me. So um, same thing, I recommend being very familiar with it. And I'll see you guys next video. Don't forget to comment, leave video topic ideas, WordPress ideas. And I will see you.